Timmy. Hi. How are you feeling? Better. Can you tell me what happened? Well... Did someone ask a question? There is ah! a learning experience in here! Get out of my room! Who are you? I am the explainer, the teacher, the manslainer, and I believe that Newton's three laws are in this example. What? You mean like fig Newtons? No! Newton! Isaac Newton! Forget it. Let's- I'll just teach you. Newton's laws are three rules of motion discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an outside unbalancing force. It also states that an object in motion will stay in motion at the same speed and direction unless acted on by an outside unbalancing force. Little Timmy was not moving until the outside unbalancing force, the soccer ball, acted upon him and made him move. Seriously, who are you? And moving on to the second law, we have Hector, my fabulous assistant who will help us demonstrate. The second law states that force times mass equals acceleration. To test this, I will have Hector throw a pencil. And little Timmy. Now, Hector, demonstrate what happens when you throw the pencil. Good job. Now, demonstrate what happens when you throw little Timmy. Good job, Hector. For a given force, the less mass, the more acceleration. Hector threw both objects with the same amount of force, but since the pencil had less mass than little Timmy did, it got launched into orbit because it had so much more acceleration. Little Timmy, on the other hand, merely got thrown into the sky. On his way down, little Timmy is pestered by a sparrow. At first he hits it with a little force, but then he hits it with a lot of force. Same sparrow hit with a larger force, had a larger acceleration. Earlier, when little Timmy fell, he hit two birds with the same force, an eagle and a sparrow. Since the eagle had more mass than the sparrow, it had less acceleration and traveled less distance. To explain this one, I'll need some help from my trusty friend, Hector! <laughs> ah! Hello, Hector! Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. To demonstrate, I gave Hector a car. Just watch what happens. Hector's action was to bump into the elephant with the car. The reaction is that the elephant pushed them off and they flew into the air. As its action, the soccer ball hit Timmy. As his reaction, it bounced off and flew into the air. As you can see, this is how Newton's three laws work. Now that I've taught you, I will be going. Hey, he has our stuff! Run, Hector! Run! Run! That's it. Calling the police.